Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Good evening. Good evening. Hello. It's been Good a pleasure. Evening. It's been a pleasure to have you back. Hey, tell me, how was your weekend, guys? Was it good? Very good. Very good. Very excited. Very, very, very good. Yeah. Okay, now tell me why I was excited. Okay. <laughs> I'm right now because bright color, right? I'm a bright color. Because was my mother's birthday. Oh, so okay. I have a lot of things to do. Mm -hmm. So was very tired. Ah, oh, I can't imagine. And also, okay. and also I went to a um, um, wedding. A to wedding. A wedding. Oh, my God. Yeah. So it was two celebrations on one day. Oof. Yes, a lot. <laughs> Yeah, okay. but it's, it's, it's good. It was good, of as, course. That's good, yeah. Yeah, fun, good, and tired, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, okay, I need a, a break. You need, come on, but you do have a break already. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I, she need a break because of a break, you know? Yes, oh yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I wish I could have that. <laughs> but no. Yeah. Hey, but that was nice, Elsie. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. That Good was to the two days. Good evening, um, Pame. Or oh, it was just one day that you had that experience. Only yesterday? Yeah. No. Uh, Saturday was the wedding, oh. and Sunday was the birthday. Oh, mother. okay. Got it. What about Friday? Nothing happens. Just asking. Yes. How oh, I, I I had to do the a lot of uh. The, buying groceries and mm. stuff at the supermarket all right yeah mm -hmm. so you do your sh the shopping right all righty yes so that was good so shopping on friday can you imagine of course and and of course the gift for each of them right would you have she had like a wedding on saturday and uh, sunday oh my goodness the uh, mama's uh, party so that was amazing yeah amazing yeah yeah okay what about the rest did you have any special besides elsie who else wants to share um their weekend i know every only one at the same time please okay i know okay thank you claudia lizette go ahead girl go ahead my well girl. my weekend was hmm. it, uh, simple i just mm. rest mm. a lot and mm. went to the supermarket and watch some movies with my husband and Netflix, that's it that's it okay that's it. <laughs> that was good which one did you see or did you watch oh well yeah, i watch uh, um the avengers the avengers you mean the last the, the last black Widow avengers. one no yes that and, was one of them and yes. how was and it tell us how was it Oh, well, very entertaining. Don't spoiler, please. Don't spoiler. <laughs> I, I, no, no, no. I just ask her for a general idea, okay? No details. Come on, no, Leo. Uh, <laughs> of course, because I have seen it. So, of course, I don't want, like, this, like, suspense, right? All right. So, that's good. With chips and everything, with soda, I don't know. Popcorn, mm. no? No. I oh, grill. don't like with... soda, no popcorn. <gasps> no just popcorn. cookies oh, and well. chocolate. Ah, well, at least chocolate and cookie, which is fine. With a cup of tea? Mm, yes. Uh, I like tea. I like uh, coffee. Oh, coffee too? Uh, me too. Coffee. too a coffee. All right. So that's good. Oh, with a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. That was my dinner yesterday. <laughs> yeah, really? Your pizza? Uh, pizza, <laughs> yes. Did you buy it or did you bake it? Uh, no, I heat it in air fryer. Oh, but you bought it uh, basically at the supermarket? Yes. Ah, and okay, I got it. it. And you hit it on. Okay, mm -hmm. okay yes. the frozen ones. Oh, that's good. Yes. Those that's are good. good. The crispy yeah. ones. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, my niece used to love it. So every time that they went uh, with my mama and my niece uh, back to the supermarket here in El Salvador, uh, basically they say, Mama, Mama. But she used to call her Mama as well. I want a pizza. Okay, so she bought like two or three pieces just for her for the week. No, my mm -hmm. mama is in Costa Rica. I had to let you know that. So I miss her. But hopefully she mm. comes back, but um, but the middle of August. Okay. So I'm like, 
Ah, that was exciting, you know, because on Saturday, uh, my husband and I had to walk up really, really early. Can you imagine <sighs> at 5.30 a.m. on Saturday? That's not possible, right? But I had to because I had to pick up my mom. My mama was supposed to be like 7.30 at the airport because her uh, plane departures at um, 9.41 a.m. And, um, and she's like 73 years old. So she needs assistance, right, for everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and now basically the airport is like uh, really reduced and there's a lot of like um, rules to follow and everything. So I had to um, be with her. And also, you know what, she's supposedly to wait the, the luggage, right? Because uh, you have like a specific amount for the one that you check in and the one that you carry on with you on the plane, right? And mom, I don't know what happened with, I think my mama had extra pupusas in the morning and I didn't, and I didn't see it because uh, basically when I arrived and I had to also, we had to also um, get the weight of the carry-on bag and the check-in bag. You know what that means, right? Carry-on and check-in. The check-in is the one that you get, yeah, they put it in, uh, on the plane. And the check-in is the one that you carry with you on the seat inside the plane. That is the two types of luggage. Do you understand what I'm talking about or no? Because I see your face and like if you're like, yep. what she's talking about? Like, mm. All right. But well, it's supposed to weigh like uh, 10 kilo, which is around 22.5 pounds. And guess what? My mama carry on baggage weighed um, 12 kilos. So like, <gasps> and I had to like <laughs> switch it from one bag to another. And I said, you know what? Oh, but it's still 12 kilos. Is that, you know what? She is diabetic because she has a diabetes. Uh, in that little bag, she has all her medication. And she was have, well wearing like, the, like a little uh, purse, that one that you cross over, over your chest, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, and she has all her documents there. You cannot make an exception. Okay, I will make an exception today. Like, phew, because it's not, I was thinking I'm gonna I'm have to pay $64. So like because that is what that is what it costs, an extra luggage, 64 bucks. So like no, but but when she comes back, she said when she returns, she she needs to be only two, she needs to have only two, not three. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. So I told my mom, you know what? The little purse that you're carrying, you need to put it inside the other luggage. So that means that you're like going to carry only two, okay? And, and I, she said, yeah, because when I come back, I will I'll basically, she, I, she's not going to have anything because when she goes to Costa Rica, my sister ask, ask her, please, mama, bring me like uh, petacones, right? Pupusas, uh, tamales, chipilline, uh, corn tamales, what else? What else? Uh, chocolate? No, 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 no. That was too much. <laughs> no, no, she said, uh, what else? That just oh, smell I'll, on the I'll plane. I'll watch it, right? I'll watch it, right? Uh, chocolate uh, candies, but not the, the traditional candies, guys. The ones that you can buy in Indiana, for example, the cherries, the babies, mm -hmm. kind of this. Oh, my God. And you know what? And I asked my mom, hey, by any chance? Because she arrived great, and my my sister took a picture to show me that my mama was with them already, and basically she was treated nice. Every, uh, they treat her very well, and my sister said, "You know what? What we're gonna have pupusas for dinner?" I said, "I knew it, but hard. I knew it. They were expecting my mama <gasps> with a lot of food because in Costa Rica, she my sister can make uh, pupusas." But you know what? They're not the they're not the same because you had to make them from maseca, right? And uh, yeah, yeah, and also the ingredients, the type of cheese, the pork, the beans, ah, guys, they're not the same. Yep. <laughs> they're not the same. So they were expecting like pupusas that you cannot imagine by heart. Oh, and so she was really happy. But I missed my mama. But my mama said, hey, you got to go to my house because you got to watch my plants. <laughs> Can you imagine? And my dogs always watch her little frog. She has a little frog on the garage made by the uh, cement, right? That yeah. every time that my dog is arrived, they pee on it. Oh my you know what? Pee like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So they're going to do that. That is their, their job, to pee on the frog. <laughs> okay, the teacher is going to stop talking. I want to know more about you, teacher. Yeah, but your, your, uh, your weekend was a bore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, let me check. Uh, who else? Cloudy, girl. What about you, Cloudy Cecilia? Tell us about your weekend, girl. Hi, everybody. Hello. Uh, well, my weekend was uh, quite busy. Okay. And on Saturday, I was uh, tying, tying up or cleaning up uh, oh. my room. Mm -hmm. uh, then yes, organizing. Arrived. <laughs> uh, the, uh, where we were with my daughter uh, organizing some future projects. Mm. Um, in the evening, we prepare uh, cheese, cheeses and jams platter <gasps> and some wine. Oh my we goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really nice evening. Yeah. Daughter, yeah. I thought a mama evening. Okay. Yes. And some wine. Okay. And red or white or white one? Wine. No, yes. I mean that but red uh, one yes. or white? Red red one. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was a French night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we stayed uh, at home. Yeah. Uh, on Sunday I went to a breakfast with my daughters and then my mom uh, had a birthday celebration for the a good friends a good family of friends mm -hmm. and that's it but that was really nice that was not quite busy that was quite relaxing <laughs> <laughs> well if you, right. if you said busy with your mouth and your tummy i understand that perfectly she was busy she was eating <laughs> the whole weekend. Okay. I, I'm just teasing you. <laughs> so that was pretty busy, you know, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Thank you, Cody. What about you, Leo? You're welcome. Well, it was relaxing. I stay in home. Um, all Friday with my family, we have a, a night, familiar, familiar night. A family night, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we went to McDonald's Ooh. here and all Fridays. All Friday, we my time is for my family. Oh, that's great. Yeah, man. Let me see. The Saturday, I went to the gym. Ooh. And, and this. Show your muscles. So show your muscles. No, I, I haven't. <laughs> I just did. Yeah. Just okay. for healthy. Just for uh, very healthy. good. Very good. Yeah. Um, that's it. That's it. That was great. That was an excellent one. Not as, as busy as Claudia, but <laughs> that was great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. who else? Who else? Anita Pineda, what about you? Thank you, Leo. Well, on Saturday, I went to work because I, I have some work that I was a... Uh, I, I didn't finish in, in, in the week, so I have yeah. to finish on, on Saturday. Oof. Then on Sunday, I went to La Petite Chef. Oh, you went to La restaurant. Petite Chef? Uh huh. Very, very nice place and, and delicious. I ate a salad oh. with melon, melon uh, drink. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Oh, that's great. So you had a, a, some uh, job that you hadn't finished during the week. During the week. And that's why you had to go back on Saturday. On Saturday, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you visit on Saturday too, right? La no, I went on Sunday. Oh, on Sunday to Sunday. La Petite La Chef. Petite chef. Yes. La Petite Chef. Yeah. Yes. That is in French, the little chef. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. The little chef. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Oh, that's great. Talking about French guys, la petite chef, chef. because you're talking about a girl, chef. about a girl. But if you're going to talk about a boy, you got to say le petit chef. I'm going to write it down. Uh, la petite. Yeah, wait, I'm going to write it down. La petite chef. That means, let me double check it in English, Spanish. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, yes, of course. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, where is the Spanish thing here? I got to change it. Let me check, huh? Sorry, guys, but I had to change this keyboard into Spanish. <sighs> I don't know why. Okay. Oh, my God. Hey, you got to switch it. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I found something. Sorry about that. Okay, that means, oh, I'm going to put it in the Spanish, that word of meaning. That, that's how you write it. La petite, petite chef. You pronounce the E at the end because you're talking about a girl and you put la because you're talking about a girl. But let's say that you're talking about the boy. So you're going to write it a different way. And the pronunciation is going to be different. You see the difference? First of all, you're talking about boy instead of la is le, no le. Because if you said le, if you if you pronounce it in French le, you are saying this, guys. I'm going to write it down. The last thing, le, l e s. That means plural. Okay. So you you just pronounce le, le, la, le, le. Okay. And if you say petit, you see, petit, petit, it is P-E-T-I-T, -E -T, that means men. If I, if I add that E at the end, I'm going to transform it into a girl. Okay? So in French, we got to uh, put it together, the article, which is la, and the noun, which is petit. Or if it's masculine, le, petit. Mira, petit. Le petit, la petite. La petite. Oui. So, Mademoiselle Anna Pineda. <laughs> la petite chef. La petite chef. Very good. Le petit chef. La petite chef. Le, le. Le, le. le. That is masculine. That is, uh, yeah. Feminine and masculine. Oh, yeah. You see? You're learning French as well. I told you. <laughs> so repeat after me. Where, where did you go on Sunday? Where did you go on Sunday? Where did you go on Sunday? Sunday? I, I, Anita, where do you go on Sunday? La petite chef. Uh -huh. Very good. To la petite chef. Very good. Excellent. Ooh la la, mademoiselle. Uh, no. You're, are, are you married? Sorry to ask you that. No. Oh, so yes, you're mad myself. Mm -hmm. uh, but Claudia, Claudia is married, right? Claudia Lisette. So yes, that means that she, she's madame. Mm -hmm. Madame and mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, guys, and you know what? Remember the word ma'am in English that we use? Hi, ma'am. Have you heard that, that word in English? Hey, ma'am. That word ma'am comes from the French word madame, okay? I had to let you, I don't know if I told you that right already, right? Did I tell no. you that? No? Okay. No. I know it was the other class. Yes. Madame is in, is in French, but basically the, the English people took it for their own. And instead of saying madame is ma'am. Okay. So you can call a lady. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. But if you say it repeatedly, ma'am, 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 you have to avoid using too many times. Okay. Because it makes you feel like a, a little bit uncomfort uncomfortable. Okay, and also guys, be careful with the tone of voice that you use when you use the word ma'am, because you can also make them feel like unrespectful. For example, you say, hey, if there's anything, hey, what you need, ma'am, like, please tell me something here, yeah, because I don't want to talk to you, or I don't want to give you a hand. So like, mm. okay, so be careful when you use it. That's an, a plus, okay. Very good, guys. Thank you. One more thing. Hi, me. Hi, me, mommy. Hey, me. How are you, man? What did you do last weekend? Well, it was really great. Oof, okay. Why? Uh, because uh, we we were invited by my uncle to the beach Ooh. on Saturday. I mean, on Friday after okay. work. 
That was amazing to start the weekend, sir. Relax. Relax. And everybody was in the summertime when the weather is fine, right? Yes, yeah. right. That's great. It, only one day or the whole weekend? The whole weekend. We'll the be, whole weekend? Yes, we return on Sunday at night. Oh, my God. That's why, you know, guys, that's why he looks like different. Your skin color, right? He's, he's like, burn. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you look like a surfer. <laughs> hey, but that was nice. Excellent. And which, nice. uh, which, beach, uh, which beach did you visit? At La Paz, Amatepanco, Amatepanco, Amatecampo, La Paz. Oh my God, I haven't, I haven't visited. Have you guys? Have you visited that beach now? No. No. Where is it located, Jaime? At San Luis, San Luis Talpa. Ah, San Luis Talpa. Yeah, near Cerro y Mar. Yes, near. Ah, that was great. Oh, I love that place. <laughs> it was really good. We yeah. Enjoyed. With my wife and my son. Oh, that was amazing. You know what? In that place, I don't know if it's the same beach, but in Estherimar, there is a place where there's like a total foundation. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. And I don't know if you got to pay three or five bucks per total so you can relief then, right? Yeah. Oh, that is amazing. That's a really nice experience. I like it. <laughs> so I am relaxed right now. Yes, of course. You look like you uh, deserve it. You deserve it. Excellent, very good. And last but not least, I have Julio who is looking really relaxed also. Tirso, welcome. Oh, very good. I have Josue, Veronica. Tirso, tell us about yourself. I haven't heard your voice. Okay. Okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Uh, my name is Tirso Sarmeño. I live in Santa Tecla. Uh, I work like a uh, audit of software uh, in a firm of auditing. Uh, I heard that uh, you are talking about everybody did on, on weekend, the last weekend. Uh, on Saturday, I was working in my office. In the afternoon, uh, I took a relax in my house. I, I stay at home every uh, in the afternoon at night. Uh, on Sunday, I went to buy some groceries in the supermarket and in the, in the morning. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon, I watch Netflix. Ah, like In the Cody. afternoon and at night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I watch uh, Netflix at home, yes. But any and chance- that's it. That did, was my-, my It weekend. was your weekend? <laughs> did you watch Black Widow just in case? Yes. Ah, you see, I told you. Liz, uh, <laughs> the same as Liz. <laughs> that is excellent. So you you stay home, right? You stay home as well as Liz. Yes, I and stay, also I stay you stay home. Stay. Yeah, you guys. When you said I stayed home, you said uh, you stay stayed home. Don't use any uh, preposition between. You cannot say stay in home or stay at home. No, stay home without preposition. But that was good. Excellent. Let's listen to one more, mm, baby girl. Pame, I know that you want to participate. You okay. are really awake. She's, she's not wearing yeah. pajamas. Can you imagine that, guys? Yes, I am. <laughs> well, but I think you're in the living room, right? No, in the yard. Ah, in the yard. Well, at least yeah. not in your room. <laughs> yeah, but I am. I am pajamas you are wearing a pajama all righty the spider-man by the way i think it's just like spider day right <laughs> yeah. all right yeah i love i love marvel you love marvel my heart okay but which is your favorite um i don't know avenger um, avenger iron man iron but, man but lucky is is one of my my favorites oh you have a dark song yeah. <laughs> I was watching the 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 Loki series. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my it's, god! It's really good. You, you know what? I was uh, the period of Star Wars, right? Guy, remember Star Wars, right? R two D two. Remember Princess Leia, Luke uh, Skywalker. So I mm -hmm. will say, the Force got you. Got a Force attack. <laughs> <on you. laughs> I love Star Wars too. I love Star Wars too. Really. 
oh, my husband loves by heart. But you know what? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's really hard because the story doesn't count in order, right, guys? It is in disorder. So you got to pay attention to what you're talking about because finally, you know what? Finally, in this time that my husband saw the, was started uh, watching again the series, finally, I understood how the Darth Baden was created or who was Darth Baden. <laughs> Can you imagine? Finally. But, but it's the same uh, uh, like uh, history in all the trilogies not in Star Wars. Not really. You know what? It's, always a, li it's a little bit complicated. Yeah, I, th I complicated. thought about that. But you yeah. know what? They have more than eight history. They have more than eight. I think they're more yeah. like 15. I don't know how many, but yeah, yes, you gotta pay attention. Him one more. You, you think so? Yeah. Oof, well. For 20, 24, I guess. Wow, that's gonna be fine. Yeah. We're yeah. going to wait for that. Okay, but tell us about yours. What happened with Lucky? Um, I didn't end it, end it but it's it's good. And so you watched Lucky, Lucky during the weekend. What else did you do? Uh, just stayed home, and on Sunday I I get uh, food with my boyfriend. You had a food. Yeah. Oh, did you cook? No. Ah. <laughs> McDonald's. knows. I know. <laughs> Uh, you should prepare a romantic one. No. Even though share no. with, with babies, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. But at least you have a romantic yeah. dinner with him, which is good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Awesome. I'm happy about that. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Pame, for sharing your weekend. So, guys, I, I know that you are really good active listeners. So, hopefully, you have done that, right? <laughs> because may I ask you, who spent the whole weekend on the beach? Who said that? Jaime. Yeah. Jaime. Jaime, very good. Excellent. Who watched Netflix at home? There were two people. Irso Cermeño. And, and who else, Jaime? And who else? It was a girl. Edwin? Claudia Vasquez. Claudia Vasquez, very good. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, and who said that went to McDonald's with his family? Leo. Leo, very good. You know what? When I said Leo, I remember Matrix. I don't know why. <laughs> it is Neo, right? But I know I had to change the L for the N, but it is similar pronunciation. All righty. Let me double check. Uh, oh, also, you, I remember Leo Thundercats. Remember that? Yeah. Leono, right? The Lord of the Thundercats. Yeah. I was a snarf. <laughs> Do people say me uh, Leonidas like um, a king Spartacus? Leonidas, yes, exactly. Oh, my Spartacus. God. Yeah. Spartacus. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's part of the history. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Uh, who said, um, it, oh, there were, hey, guys, you got to pay attention to this one because this is a little really, it's not tricky, but it's a little bit hard question. Who said um, that had a really French dinner with her daughter? Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. Who? Anna Pineda. No, 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 a French dinner with her daughter. Ah, ah. Ah. Dinner, what? Dinner. Claudia. I gotta pronounce American way. Claudia. Claudia, Claudia, who? Claudia. Because we have two Claudias here. Hmm? Who, who, Claudia? Claudia Lizette or Claudia Cecilia? Claudia Cecilia. All righty, oh, very good. And, and she emphasized with a red wine, she said. Okay, cool, excellent. <laughs> Oh, but and by the way, there were like, I think there were three guys, right? I don't remember exactly that said that they went to the supermarket and buy the groceries. Who said that? Three. I think there were three. Who said that? Uh huh. Uh huh. Please, only one. I just think only one participating, but one victim, sorry, one participant that said. You so? 
Tier two of one, yes. Who else? Uh huh. Julio. I... Julio. Julio hasn't participated. <laughs> so he didn't say that, right? <laughs> like he was. Leave it. Uh huh. Tier two was one of them, yes. Who else? Uh huh. Ah. <gasps> Jaime? Jaime? No, because Jaime no. spent time on the beach. So it wasn't him. To the supermarket, I think, Claudia Lisset. Uh huh. She was one of the other. Well, there was mm -hmm. only one more, right? One more. Tirso. Yeah, Tirso also. Tirso and Claudia Lizette. Anybody else? I don't know. Anita, no. No. Leo. No. No. Eh, uh, Pame. No, right? Okay. Oh well, only two. Okay. No, Claudita. Claudita, did you go to the supermarket? Claudia no. Ceci? No, Rob. Okay. Okay. The teacher had a bad memory today. Okay. <laughs> what about who had a special dinner with her boyfriend? Um, Pamela. Yeah. And last but not least, who went on Sunday to La Petite Chef? Anita. Anita. Do you remember what she had for dinner? Well, for lunch, right? I think it was lunchtime. La Petita Chef. Yeah, that was the, the place, but what about her meal? Do you remember that? Our teacher. Um, that was too deep. A salad melons, and what else? With melons. With, with melon, what? Drink melon. Yeah, with drunk, melon. No. Not drunk, no, she's like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with melon beverage. Uh, oh, with melon juice. Very good. Excellent. You see, we're talking about past, guys, because that is what we have seen so far. Remember, we're talking about simple past uh, with the verb to be and also simple past with did. But also, guys, we will continue with the past. But you know what? Besides was and, and, and did uh, in the affirmative and negative way, we also can use another phrase, you know. I don't know if you have seen it. Uh, but I'm gonna send it, uh, write it down in the chat. Uh, alrighty. Use to. Use to. Have you heard that a, a phrase or word before? Have you used it? Yeah? Yes, I have. Yes? Okay, cool. Yeah. Alrighty. Guys, that word used to basically, um, we utilize that we, when we're talking about things or behavior or um, anything that you, in the past, for example, when you were a child, you used to do it, but now no anymore. For example, uh, when we were a child, just please, I don't know, I don't know, I know it's a long time ago, right? But I tried to make a memory, it's okay? <laughs> no, it's not a long time ago, everybody's like younger, right? Especially Pame, Pame is the youngest one, I think. Or oh, Gabby, I think Gabby's the youngest one. But remember, guys, that when we were like kids, eh, everybody was organized. Am I correct or no? No, right? If you if you make a memory when you were a kid, your room was a completely disaster, right? Yes. <laughs> well, well, maybe no Leo, but I'm talking about general I'm kids. No. Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> but can you imagine? For example, you say you can say when I was a kid, my room I was um, totally messy. Messy was like disaster, disaster, right? disorder, right? Now I'm net. That means that I'm clean. Everything it's play. The socks were the socks books. The the shoes are on the place, etc. Right? So you can say like that. For example, and when I was a kid, I used to collect comics. Or comic books now no anymore you see you see how we use it and also guys you can um you can use it in affirmative sentence and also you can make negative sentence and as well you can make uh questions using did at the beginning of the question and also wh question like what for example let me give you an example uh -uh. and then uh, what I want, I don't want you to do is to think about a sentence after that, okay? But I'm gonna show you something here. Bear with me because I need to open something right now so I can explain it to you. 
is easy. Don't complicate your life. It's, uh, it's a little bit easy. All righty, let me close this. I'm going to share it right now with you. All right. I don't know where you are, guys, but here I'm like having hot. There you go. Can you see that, guys? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So let me put it a little bit bigger here. Yes. Yeah, let me put it here. All right. Used to. Okay, that's what we're going to see. Used to. All righty. Okay, guys, in affirmative way, let's put it here right now, affirmative way, put it here, there we go. Okay. Affirmative. Guys, in affirmative way, we have like um, some formula. Let me put it right now a little bit different here. Let's put it here and let me change it. The type of um, like letter. Okay, let's see. Ooh, there you go. Let me see, there you go, yes. I'm gonna switch it here. No, this is not gonna show it. Let's see this, okay. Okay, in affirmative way, you said the subject, right? Plus, used to, plus the main verb, plus complement. What I'm gonna do just to make it a little bit- The main verb, the main verb in present? Yes, in present. Okay. And I will let you know why. Let me see right now. Okay, let's change color just for you to like try to like remember it. And then we gotta put it here, something here, something different. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, okay, cool. Okay. Let me give an example here. Let me give an example. Oops. Okay, you can say, it. I used to be, uh, I used to be messy. Yeah, I used to be messy. You can say, it. you see, I, then I have used to, you see the verb in present, be, and then we have the complement. I used to be messy. Or also you can say, it, I used to play F soccer with my friends. Oof. For example, guys, do you remember that um, when we were like uh, kids, so we have like a friends in our neighborhood, right? Or we have like, or we were like uh, single guys. Am I correct? Yeah? Well, you were single, for example. When you were single, you have time, right? When you finish school, for example, you arrived. I don't know you, maybe Leo, maybe Edwin or Jaime. Uh, you have like a friends or partners of your the same neighborhood. And you said, hey, guys, hey, let's go out and, and play soccer. Or let's go out and play basketball, right? Yeah, so you said... You can set, for example, guys, in the second example that I gave you right now, when I was a kid, I used to play with my friends, but now I don't. Why? Because you used to play because you had more free time. But now you're, well, you're, your life has changed. You're married, you have kids, and you have a really stressful job. So you don't have as much, as many free time as you wanted to, right? So you see how we can use it? And guys, I want you, let me go back and share right now the screen with you because um, I want you guys to pay attention on something. Uh, I think um, Leo is the one that asked me that teacher and, uh, and the member of stating present, yes. You can see guys, this is affirmative, right? Yeah. Why? Why it stays in pleasant? Well, because if you see guys used to in, in past, past, right? So that means, guys, that the whole sentence is going to be in past. Okay? It's going to be in past. It, guys, in the affirmative uh, way, are, is it okay? Is it understandable? You understand yes. this one? Yeah? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that is easy peasy, queasy, right? Yeah. 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 
yeah, teacher, not complicated. Okay, cool. Now, guys, I want you to pay attention on the negative one. On the negative one. This is the one that I want you to pay attention to. Okay. Let's double check this. Let me move this a little bit. Okay, cool. Oh, let's put a little bit bigger. Let me put a little bit bigger this one. Any big like one here? Let me check that. Yes, okay, cool. Hmm. It's really hot, right, guys? Or no? It is. It is hot, right? Oh, yes, it is. It is really, really hot. All right, so let's put a little bit bigger. Yes, this one. Cool. Yeah, this one I don't want. Okay, so we're gonna put it like a negative wave. Negative guys is change it a little bit. And let me show you to you what is the change. Okay, I'm gonna copy something here. Okay, if you see guys, it's gonna be a little bit of change. But except for this one, let me put it here, this one. Mm -hmm. And let me change something here. Let me put it in a different color. Let's see which color we're going to use. Oops. Yes. All righty. Oh, no, I'm going to put it in a different color, right? It's like not too visible. Let me see. Yeah, much better this one. Okay, guys, so can you see the difference in negative way? Yes. You, we can use exactly didn't. the same one. Yeah, we can, we can use exactly the same one. Yes, exactly. For example, I used to play soccer with my friends. Let's use the same exactly one, but in, a diff but in the negative way. I didn't. I used to play soccer with my friends. All right, there you go. Let's put it here. Let's move yeah. it here. Okay, guys, this is a negative, but did you figure it out something in this negative sentence? Take a look at the sentence. Why can you find it out that it's a little bit different when you're talking about negative way? Used to is in present. Exactly, and why? Because you, you're you using didn't. Exactly, I already used did, right? You know, guys, that when you're talking about did, automatically as well transfer the sentence in the past, right? So in this case, uh, I use did in a negative way, didn't, or you can also say did not, guys. Which one be works better for you? So you can say that I didn't used to pay suck, uh, play, sorry, pay, play, play soccer right. with my friends. There you go. Okay, mm -hmm. exactly. So you see the difference, guys? It's not too complicated, right? No. No, I don't know. You see, that means, guys, that you, well, it was not something habitually for you to do. Okay, what about, guys, just the question? But let me ask you, so far, are you good? Do you understand? Okay, we move yes. forward, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about yeah. questions? Okay, guys, remember that with questions, we have two types of questions, right? Yes. Am I correct or not? Yes. Okay. Which is the first question that we saw, that we see, sorry? Can you tell me? W questions. Uh-huh. We have the W question and we have the just no question. Do you remember the just no question in past which auxiliary do we use at the beginning of the question? Did. Did. Very good. Did, exactly, exactly. So basically this is going to be the same, but let me give you, a, it's gonna be a little bit different. Okay. Okay, let's change the color a little bit. Okay, so let's put an example, right? You see, did plus subject plus used to plus member plus complement. Can you make a question? Oh, let's make an example, okay? Let's make an example. 
Let me put it in black color. There you go. Let's use exactly the same question, okay, guys? The same sentences that we've been using, but let's convert it into question way. You can say, oops, did you use to play soccer with your friends when you were young? Uh -huh. Did you use those? Oh, you can say it like that, with your friends. If you know that we were talking about the past, it's not necessary to add anything else. What would be the immediate answer, you guys? Who can answer me this question? Did you used to play soccer with your friends? Yes. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. But this is going to be a little bit different from the ones that we were used to. And let me let you know why. Let me just... Uh-huh. You said, yes. I did used to play every afternoon. You see, guys? Do you remember the most of the time when you uh, when you answer immediately you put a dot here? Do you remember that? But in this case, no. Do you used to play soccer with your friends? You just answer completely. Yes, I did used to play every afternoon. You don't just you don't say it like yes, I did. I used no, I used to. No, <clears throat> not like that. You, you need to answer completely, okay? Completely, yes. completely. Yes, go ahead. Sorry, you're but about to ask a question. Go ahead. Yes, in this case, uh, mm -hmm. you can use, um, yes, I used to play. I used to play only a, a subject and used to. Mm -hmm. uh, you can use did auxiliary or uh, this means... No is for the question is uh, beginning with did. No, you can also, I said I did used to, or you can also say I used to. I used to play every afternoon. You can say it like that. And also you can say it in negative, no. I didn't used to play every afternoon, for example. It will be much better without the did when you answer. Am I clear? It will be much better without the did. You can say, I used to, da, 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 da. no, I didn't used to, but if you do it in a negative way, you gotta use the did, okay? It will be okay. much better. Now, if that is a just no question. What about a WS question? What, et cetera, right? What, when, okay, let me share right now my screen once again. Okay, let's double check the other one. Okay, let me put it here. And guys, don't forget the, the, the question mark, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, cool, let me check this one. Okay, so you see the difference is that you're gonna put the WH at the beginning. And also you can um, use exactly the same example. We can use a different example, guys, just the different thing. Let me check. No, let's use where.
You see that, guys? Where did you used to? You see? Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference of a question, guys? Yes. Yeah, right? Where do you used to go on vacations as a child? I used to go to the El Espino, to El Espino, to El Espino Beach every weekend with my family. You see? If you answer in a negative, in a affirmative way, you keep on use used to. But if you make it as a question and you use it where, indeed, always guys remember that the used to is gotta be and present tense, okay? And also the verb go, which in this case is gonna be the main verb. There you go. Is it easy peasy queasy? Is it, is it easy? Yeah? Yes. Yeah, I, yeah, I know it's easy peasy queasy. Now do me a favor. Um, it's time for you to speak. I teacher. Yes. Because we're talking about used to, right? So think about, guys, remember your childhood. I know that some, some of us needs to go like to back, right? <laughs> like 10 years or more than 10 years ago. Uh, but guys, I don't know. But when we were a child, there were, it was a, a really nice uh, period, right? We enjoyed it a lot, most of us. But you know what? Uh, you don't have to go so far. For example, you can also talk about different things you can also talk talk about sports that you used to practice maybe like three or five years ago but no now or for example kind of music that you like I don't know guys if you have in your music style you have changed a little bit because sometimes when we were younger like we were listening the 80s for example right or I don't know maybe um uh Bob Marley, I don't know. Oh, mm, voice to men or oh, Europe. I'm, I'm 80, so I'm, that's what I'm talking about that. But maybe Pame, Pame doesn't listen to that. Maybe she likes to like... Um, yes, I listen. You listen to that? Ah, <laughs> ah, okay. Linkin Park and something like that. I don't know, right? <laughs> yeah, but you see, guys, eh, some of us keep on the same likes but there's some things that we used to like, but no anymore. There are some things that we used to practice, but not anymore, right? For example, so think about that. I will give you two minutes. It's enough. Just give me one sentence. Hey, teacher. Okay. Ah, you ready? Ah, come on. No, yeah. hold your horses, Elsie. Hold your horses. <laughs> give a time for your partners, all right? And your class. Okay. Uh -huh. But think about, uh, okay, see, so for you, I want you to think about two, two sentences. <laughs> okay. And the rest, only one sentence with this guide that you used to do, you used to listen, you used to play, you used to like, etc. But now you have changed a little bit. Okay. And then we'll come back together. Two minutes. So it's 8.49. I will come back at 8.51. Okay. I'm going to be here, but you're not going to see my beautiful face. <laughs> All righty. Okay, I will leave you alone. Two minutes and then come back. And everybody's quiet. You can talk between each other. Don't worry about that. One minute left.
Okay, guys, finish, right? Now, yes. Don't worry. Whatever you have, okay? Don't complicate your life. Whatever you have. Okay, so thank you so much. Elsie, let's start with you. Okay. Okay. Um, I used to go to the gym at 5 a.m., mm -hmm. but not now. I... And also, I used to watch Haiti. Oh. The girl in the, in the crater. Uh-huh. Yeah, but now, right now, no. Yeah, no time, right? Oh, no I time. love it. Yeah. You know what? But you can also watch Hades or Heidi's uh, on Sunday. Really? Ch Channel 12. Yes, at 8 a.m. in the morning. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, it is not the all cartoon. It is like more like in 3D. But it's in 3D. Yes, it's in 3D, but you can still watch it. Okay. But in YouTube, Oh, really? Yeah, yes, oh, you can do you it. for the advice. <laughs> Your mother, welcome. Pame, I know that she wants to participate. Go ahead, girl. She's like, I teach you what is spoke. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, I used to have uh, a lot of friends when I was young, but I, I am more selective right now. Yeah. <laughs> you are more picky. Oh my God. Excuse me. When I was John, gang, she's still younger. Like when, yesterday, you can say, it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Pame. All right. Julio, it's time for you to speak, my man. Go ahead, sir. Hello. Hello. Uh, okay. I, I used to go to rock concerts when I was more younger than. <laughs> younger no, than right now <laughs> than yesterday and, and, and yesterday and why not because of course <laughs> due to a quarantine right <laughs> that's good yeah. which do you remember what was the last concert did you go um almost three years ago when i uh uh a band called uh, um trash metal uh -huh. to, to the subtle oh, really Oh, yes. And that is your dog? Ruff, ruff. Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, well, we can meet your dog one day, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We have a, a people like this is a student and also pet students. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they learn English. You cannot imagine. <laughs> you know what? When I used to give a, a classes in the academy, uh, one day uh, I had to brought... A, um, a little kitty because one of my students arrived with his friend and the friend was supposed to pick up the kitty, right? Mm -hmm. But I had to lock the door of the classroom because the kitty was jumping in all the tables. And, and when I was turning everything, the video and everything, he was like this, the kitty. He was paying attention to the video and everything that was preparing the class. And I took a picture and I sent it to my class to my classmates. Hey, look, which is the new student that we have, right? And everybody's like, hey, we have a new student. And when they arrived, teacher, where is the new student? And you know what? That kitty was really smart. It was Albert Einstein's grandson that he learned English by heart and he disappeared. And they were like, no, nah, teacher. Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> so I used to have a kitty who was an English student. <laughs> that was a really amazing story, you know? I love it. Thank you, Julia. Thank you so much. Uh, Veronica Ramirez, what about you, my girl? I am speaking with my daughter. Ah, okay. Oh, no, but give me the answer. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm speaking with my daughter. Ash. Uh-huh. Uh I I then attention. Uh -huh. you then uh -huh. Okay, for tomorrow, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Vero. What about you, Tirso? Can you give me a sentence? Tirso, 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 Tirso. Okay. Tirso. Okay, thank you. Yes. Uh huh. Yes, yes. Okay, we're ready. We'll listen to you. Hey, Dave. Uh, can you hear me? A little bit, yes. Uh, well, 
Sorry? Yeah, we can listen to when you. When I was a teenager, I used to... Yes? Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Yes. When I was a teenager, I used to run in the morning, but now I cannot do it frequently. Okay, very good. That was a really good one. Yeah, because at times you're tired, right? Due to the, um, the job. Or maybe you were lazy. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Very good. Thank you, Cherzo. Leo, what about you? Um, well, I used to play piano music classic, but now I prefer singing. Oh, excuse me. Hopefully one day we can listen to your beautiful voice. Maybe in the future I sing in, in English. Yes, you will. You know what? Talking about that, I'm going to send you a song today, guys, that you can practice, okay? Okay. Cool. Thank you, Leo. Edwin, what about mm -hmm. you, Edwin? When I was a kid, I used to play all kinds of games with my friends every night on the street in front of my house. Really? Yeah. Uh, but now we are all adults uh -huh. with responsibilities and we live in different places. Ah, I thought that you said, but now all, all our entire body is crunchy because all of our entire body is cracking. <laughs> so we cannot dance anymore. We like cookies. <laughs> all righty, very good. Thank you, Edwin. Claudia Lisette, what about you, my girl? Well, when I was a child, I used to visit to my grandmother's hmm. house. Mm -hmm. But now, no but anymore. now I don't anymore because she died. Oh, she passed away. Um, oh, I'm sorry to away. hear that. Yes. Mm. Uh, but what? it was a really nice experience, right? To have yes. your mom. I love it too. Yeah, every day. Yeah. When you, as soon as you knock the door, it smells like a really delicious food, right? Oh, that yes. was my favorite part. Yeah, very yeah. good. Thank you, Cody. What about you, Jaime? Okay, this is something embarrassing, but I have to say it. Okay, do it. Throw my it, my man. Yeah, my mother told me that uh, I used to suck my tongue when I was a baby, but not anymore. <laughs> okay, that was nice. <laughs> no, it is not embarrassed. Don't worry about that. But it was funny, actually. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jaime. What about you, Anita? house every weekend. Uh-huh. I, I couldn't listen to you. Go ahead. Sorry. I used to go to my best friend house every weekend. But now? No anymore. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What about you, Rosa Dahlia? Carranza de Resinos. <laughs> okay. Hi, everybody. Hey. I used to wear mini skirt when I I, I was a teenager, <coughs> not anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, too much yes. information that we're not supposed to know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Rosadalia. Thank you. Josue Torres, finally is your turn to speak. Yes, ma'am. I didn't forget about you. Okay. Hey. Uh, can you hear me? Of course. Okay, okay, when I was a child, I Ooh. used to collect coins, um, shiny coins, but I sold the collection. No, why you sold it? <laughs> that was good. That was a really um, excellent hobby, by the way. Okay, it, this is the only the coin that survivor of that. Collection. That was amazing. That was a really nice hobby. Great. <laughs> And last but not least, thank you, Josue. Cecilia, what about you? You're the last one. Uh, well, on my beautiful childhood, oh yes, I used to collect uh, stickers, um, uh, poster from my favorite singers. Michael Jackson. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I used to play traditional play uh, like a uh, trompo uh, or jacks. Traditional <laughs> games, yeah, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. traditional games. But there aren't any anymore. Anymore? Yeah. Hey, very good. Guys, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Sazi. Congratulations. You have uh, understood perfectly the, the topic you see, guys. So we have learned three ways to speak in the past. Uh, 
just be in the past, do in the past, and in this case, just two. Okay, so from now on, I will ask you, each of you, how was your day? Okay, so we will continue practicing the past, but we won't be fo moving forward and we're going to learn something new tomorrow. You know what? It's time to say goodbye. I don't have a pretty voice like Leo, but I'm trying to do my best, right? So, guys, time is over. I got to go with the other class, but okay, I'm going to send you later on the, something that you can practice, right? And tomorrow we will continue our class, okay? Thank you so much for being in this Monday yeah. and have a great night. Sweet dreams. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.